Now in this video, let us look into the topic called as trigonometric ratios or complementary angles. Now do recall that complementary angles are nothing but if uh, two angles sum up to 90 degrees or if a pair of angles sum up to 90 degrees then those angles are called as complementary angles. Alright now how are we going to use this in trigonometry? What is it doing in trigonometric ratios? Now here it is. Now say let's consider a triangle, a right angle one at that. So here it is and let's name it A, B, C. Right, so this is a right angle. Now, this is angle A, this is angle B, and this is angle C. In this right angle triangle, do you see any pair of complementary angles? Do you see it? I, I, I can see it. I can see it because the sum of all the angles in the triangle equals 180 degrees, out of which just one angle in this right angle triangle is a 90 degrees. So obviously, the sum of angle A and angle C should be 90 degrees, and hence. Angle A and angle C are complementary angles. Okay, that is one thing now. Now, apart from that, let's say, yeah, let me just mention that angle A plus angle C equals 90 degrees. Angle A plus angle C equals 90 degrees. So now let's take, say, for example, sine A. Or let's find all the trigonometric functions of the angle A. So sine A equals what? Opposite by hypotenuse. The opposite of uh, sine of angle A or sorry, the opposite of angle A is BC. So it's BC. BC over AC. AC is the hypotenuse in this case. So sine A equals BC over AC. And let's take cos A. Cos A equals adjacent by hypotenuse. So adjacent is AB in this case and the hypotenuse is AC again. And then we've got tan A, which is opposite by adjacent. So opposite is BC and adjacent is AB. And then we've got the reciprocal functions of all these three. First, we've got cosecant of A, which is 1 by sine. That's nothing but AC by BC. And then we've got secant of A, which is 1 by cos. That's going to be AC by AB. And then we've got cot A which is the reciprocal of tan, so that's going to be AB by BC. So these are the six trigonometric functions and we found the ratio of all of them here in this case. So now we found the trigonometric functions of angle A, right, the ratios of the trigonometric functions of angle A. Now let us find the ratios of the trigonometric functions of angle C. Now say Let's write angle C as 90 degrees minus angle A. Or simply writing, just for convenience, let's write this as 90 degrees minus A. So I'm going to write angle C as 90 degrees minus A. Alright? So it's going to be, now let's say what is, let's see what is sine 90 minus A. 90 degrees minus A. So that is nothing but sine of angle C. That's going to be opposite by hypotenuse. The opposite to angle C is nothing but AB. Right? So it's going to be. AB by the hypotenuse which is AC, right? So now, next is cos. Cos of 90 degrees minus A is going to be, that is cos of angle C, right? It's going to be adjacent by hypotenuse. So it's going to be BC by AC. And then we've got tan. Tan 90 degrees minus A, which is nothing but 90 degree minus A is angle C, so it is opposite by adjacent, so it is AB by BC, right? And then let's take cosecant, cosecant of 90 degrees minus A. That's going to be the inverse of sine, so let's just take it from here, AC by AB. And then we've got secant 90 degrees minus A, which is going to be AC by BC. And then we've got cotangent of cot, which is again cot of 90 minus A equals BC by AB. Now what we have to do is, let's compare these. Let's compare this group and then let's compare this group. So AB by AC, we can see a, a, AB by AC. We can link it here, right? AB by AC. So if you see AB by AC here is cos A and AB by AC here is sine of 90 degrees minus A. So what, what this shows 
is sine of 90 degrees minus a equals cosine of a right and then if you take say bc by ac we've got bc by ac here right now this shows cos of 90 degrees minus a equals sine a and then let's take ab by bc ab by bc is here so this shows the tan of 90 degrees minus a equals cot a and then let's take ac by ab ac by ab is here yeah so this shows cosecant of 90 degrees minus a equals secant a and let's take ac by bc ac by bc yeah here it is secant of 90 degrees minus a equals cosecant of a and then finally we've got bc by ab which is this one so cot of or cotangent of 90 degrees minus a equals tan a this is what is the trigonometric ratios of complementary angles this is what it is sine of 90 degrees minus a equals cos a cos of 90 degree minus a equals sine a and tan of 90 degree minus a equals cot a cosecant of 90 degree minus a equals secant a secant of 90 degree minus a equals cosecant a and cotangent of 90 degree minus a equals tan a so this relationship is very important in solving more problems based on trigonometric ratios so to be more specific trigonometric ratios of complementary angles so this is what it is and the main point of this video is to is to introduce to you these relationships but we could do this uh, not without a proof right i mean you just can't say this is equal to this so how is this so that is where the complementary angles comes into play right so that's where the complementary angles and the trigonometric ratios comes into play and by using this method we can prove that the sine of 90 degree minus a equals cos a and so on so in the forthcoming videos let us use these results to solve more problems based on trigonometric ratios